Thank you for your interest in the Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, also known as SARE. SARE is a USDA-funded program that promotes sustainable agriculture practices through research grants and educational resources. SARE strives to increase farmer profitability, support environmental conservation, and improve community quality of life by offering several grant opportunities to farmers and ag professionals in the southern region. This PowerPoint presentation provides an overview of graduate student grants and includes helpful information on preparing and submitting your proposal. The call for proposals for Southern SARE graduate student grants opens February of each year and can be found on the Southern SARE website at southern.sare.org. The deadline to apply is in May, with proposals selected for funding in August. The project start date for graduate student grants is September 1st. Graduate student grants are open to master's and PhD students interested in exploring sustainable ag research in their graduate programs at accredited institutions across the Southern region. These institutions include 1862 and 1890 land grants and other colleges and universities outside of the land grant system. An applicant may only receive one graduate student grant during his or her degree program, and the grant can only be used by the student who submitted the grant. In some cases where the graduate student leaves the institution, the grant does not follow the student. It is the principal investigator's responsibility to identify another student to conduct the research. This process requires Southern Sierra approval. The graduate student may apply for and submit the grant application, but the graduate student is not the PI on the project. The major professor or academic advisor for the student applying for the grant is considered the PI. Funding is $16,500 for two years of research activities. Funds are allocated by reimbursement of allowable expenses. That is, invoices and receipts are submitted throughout the course of the grant project and the expenses are reimbursed. SARE does not provide grant monies in advance. No matching funds are required with graduate student grants and we do allow indirect costs. A wide variety of sustainable ag topics is available for graduate students to pursue. The following list of focus areas provides students ideas on the types of sustainable ag projects that SARE seeks to fund. This list is by no means exhaustive, but it is a good starting point. Students and major professors are encouraged to contact the grant manager to discuss whether their idea fits the SARE program. Why apply for a graduate student grant? The main goal of the graduate student grants is to drive the principles of sustainable agriculture through the budding academic careers of graduate students interested in exploring sustainable systems. This consists of quantitative lab or field research projects or qualitative social science research that seeks to answer questions to various facets of quality of life issues. There are many benefits afforded to students who pursue graduate student grants as a funding opportunity for research. The grant introduces students to grant writing. For many, this is their first experience applying for and managing a grant of any kind. This is a fundamental learning opportunity for anyone planning a career in ag research, education, or extension. The grant introduces students to sustainable agriculture principles and challenges them to consider how their research interests can be framed to be meaningful to farmers and ranchers. The grant helps build a portfolio of published works, as many graduate students who receive funding either publish their results in peer-reviewed journals or they attend academic meetings to give presentations on their research and discuss the results. The grant builds a relationship between students, producers, and SARE by getting students out of, out of the lab and into the field working with farmers. Lastly, graduate students who receive SARE funding also maintain a high level of engagement with SARE by returning to the program as a funding source as they advance in their academic careers. The graduate student application process always begins with the release of the call for proposals. When open, the call for proposals can be downloaded from our website at southern.sare.org. When applying for any SARE grant, the call for proposals is your first tool of reference. Everything you need to know about applying for a SARE grant can be found in the call for proposals, including grant application guidelines, the link to submitting the grant to our online submission system, and how proposals are reviewed. The call for proposals is divided into several sections and is intended to be used as a guide for preparing your proposal to be submitted to our online application system. Those sections include basic information, body of the proposal, budget, and signature sheet. Basic information is the section of the proposal that asks for basic project information, such as the project title, contact information for the graduate student, 
major professor, and institutional administrative contacts that manage finances and grants and contracts, the state in which the project will be conducted, the type of institution the graduate student is from, and the project start and end dates. Body of the proposal section is the meat of your proposal. It includes such information as your project abstract, the problem you are addressing and its relevance to sustainable agriculture, the objectives and methods of your project, your timeline for completing the work, and cited literature that supports the need for conducting your project. This section also includes a diversity, equity, and inclusion question that asks how your project will benefit and support historically underserved farmers and communities. The budget is your list of allowable costs needed to conduct your project, as well as, as, well as an itemization and justification of each budget category. SEER allows for indirect costs, which are required to be factored into your budget. You can find information on allowable and non-allowable costs, as well as indirect costs in the call for proposals. The signature sheet is a required document of signatures of the PI and the administrative representative at your institution authorized to sign contracts. This individual is usually found in departments like sponsor projects, grant accounts, or contracts and grants. The signature sheet is needed before a grant project can be funded. One of the hallmarks of SARE grants is the outreach plan. Outreach allows grant PIs to share the results of their project with the ag community, farmers, and or fellow researchers. The purpose behind this is so research results on sustainable agriculture practices have the widest possible benefits. It also allows PIs to engage directly with farmers on the implementation of sustainable agriculture by demonstrating that their research is practical, applicable, and replicable. We do not require an outreach component to a graduate student grant proposal. We understand that the thrust behind the grant program is to support graduate students in their initial research experiences. However, it is expected that graduate students make the effort to incorporate some sort of outreach plan into their project. Outreach can include presentations at events, videos of their research project, virtual resources, or publications such as a bulletin or a fact sheet. At the minimum, students should present their project results at an academic conference. Consider these tips when applying for a graduate student grant. Does your idea fit with Sierra's program goals? Keep sustainable agriculture in mind and how well your project outcomes could be applied by farmers. Many graduate student grant proposals are good research grants with solid scientific methods, but lack the sustainable agriculture piece. Think about how farmers could utilize your results. Are they applicable and practical? Some lab research, for example, is simply step stepping stone research that relies on future research to be relevant and may not entirely fit in with Sierra's program goals. Remember, Sierra seeks new innovative sustainable ag techniques or improvements upon existing ag practices that benefit farmers on the farm or from a marketing standpoint. Follow the instructions in the call for proposals. Any missing information or any non-allowable budget items included might cause your proposal to be rejected. Thoroughly research your idea before applying. Search the research literature. Search SARA's project database. Has the topic already been thoroughly researched? Does it address a specific problem in your area or have wider benefits to the region that have not yet been fully explored? SARE does not fund duplications of past work, so it is important that you demonstrate that this is an area where information is lacking. Include clear goals and objectives, making sure they align with your research methods. Your objectives should be easy to summarize, explaining what you're measuring and why it is important. Make sure your methods are detailed and they are designed to answer your research question or project objectives. If you've conducted preliminary research, include that data and explain how you plan to build on that information. Don't wait until the last minute to begin your proposal. The deadline for proposal submissions is firm. Anticipate technological glitches, budget issues, user error, or other issues that might cause delays. Develop a realistic budget. Be mindful of allowable and non-allowable expenses. Make sure to itemize each budget item to strengthen the justification as to why you need it for your research project. Get someone else to proofread your proposal. Reviewers pay attention to editorial or grammatical errors and take note of any major scientific aspect of your proposal that may be missing or was not detailed enough. These errors impact the quality of your proposal. Think about how your project benefits farmers. How will farmers be able to use the results of your project in their own farming situations? 
Is your project practical and applicable? Think about how your project incorporates farmers as end users. Keep your writing clear and simple and avoid technical jargon. Always write your proposal with the reviewers in mind. Assume that reviewers have agricultural knowledge, but not necessarily deep expertise in your proposed subject area. Finally, don't be afraid to ask questions. SARE encourages high quality proposals to be competitive. While there are good proposals that are not funded, there are also many proposals that are not funded due to weak points in the proposal. These are some reasons that may cause a proposal to ultimately be rejected. Broadly, proposals may have strong methods, but the project does not pertain to or contribute to sustainable agriculture. Research topics don't fit SARE's mission and vision of sustainability, or don't address one of SARE's three pillars of sustainability, farmer profitability, environmental stewardship, or community quality of life. Some topics being proposed are been there, done that. A lot of resources may already exist on a proposed topic or the applicant doesn't indicate what's new about the project. Conventional research is masked as sustainable agriculture. The applicant does not make a strong case for sustainable agriculture or show how the agricultural practice is more sustainable than more conventional farming methods. More specifically, budgets are not realistic to the approaches and methods or are not appropriate for the project. An example would be high costs for excessive travel to research sites that may not be necessary to achieve the project's objectives relative to the rest of the budget. The methodology may be poorly written, leaving out key information, is not clearly explained, or the research ap approach doesn't align with objectives. Finally, applicants ask for items we cannot fund. Focusing on avoiding these points will help strengthen your proposal. Graduate student grants are competitive, and that's more of a function of our budget than a lack of high quality proposals. That is, we receive more proposals than we can fund in any given year. In some years, we may fund more graduate student grants, and in other years, we may fund less. All of our grants are reviewed for funding, including the graduate student grants. Review is a two-step process. Once the grant deadline closes, proposals are assigned to outside technical reviewers. These technical reviewers are generally faculty and extension specialists from academia and USDA researchers with a broad knowledge of sustainable ag practices. They are assigned to proposals based on their area of expertise. Technical reviewers focus on the technical and scientific aspects of the proposals and how well the proposals fit in with Sarah's goals of sustainability. Once the technical reviewers have scored and commented on proposals, the Project Review Committee of the Administrative Council reviews the high-scoring projects. Selected proposals are presented to and voted by the full Administrative Council during the Summer Administrative Council meeting. Applicants are notified by email of the status of their application in August. If awarded, applicants receive further correspondence. Project start date for graduate student grants is always September 1st of the year the grant is awarded. Ready to apply for a graduate student grant? Grant applicants apply to SARE grants via an online submission system known as the SARE Grant Management System. To begin, cut and paste the online submission link from the call for proposals into your web browser. You will need to log into the SARE Grant Management System to access the online graduate student grant application. If you already have an account, you may log in with your existing username and password. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one. Either the major professor or the graduate student can submit the proposal through the SARE Grant Management System. Once you log in, click on Start a New Grant Proposal from the SARE Grant Management System page. Clicking on Start a New Grant Proposal will take you to the Apply for a Grant page. Find the open Southern SARE Graduate Student Grant Application information. Click on Begin a New Proposal to begin your grant application. The SARE Grant Management System landing page is the place to begin your grant application. This page is where you input the title of your project, a sentence or two summary of your project known as the project description, and graduate student and or major professor information. Notice the red asterisks. These indicate required information. Your proposal cannot be completed and submitted without satisfying each requirement. Notice the proposal sections on this page, basic information, proposal, budget, and signature sheet. Click on each proposal section and complete each section for the required information. The View Draft button allows you to open a new window of your draft proposal as you are working on it. 
the My Proposals button takes you to a page that lists the history of your active, submitted, and unsubmitted proposals. The Basic Information page, as outlined in the Call for Proposals, lists the required categories for the section that need to be completed. Click Edit Answer to answer each question. Be sure to save your responses. The Proposal Overview button takes you back to the main landing page. The Next Section button takes you to the next section of the application. The Body of Proposal section, as outlined in the Call for Proposals, lists the required categories in the section that need to be completed. Click Edit Answer to answer each question. Be sure to save your responses. The Budget section, as outlined in the Call for Proposals, requires a budget category, budget amount, and justification and itemization of each expense, allowable and non-allowable costs, indirect cost information, and the budget narrative checklist can be found in the call for proposals. To create your budget, select from the drop-down list in a budget category. Provide an item description, details and justification of your budget item, and the expense. Only add whole dollar amounts. Click Add Another Budget Item to repeat the process until you have included all of your budget items for your project. Be sure to click the Save button to save your changes. Follow the instructions on the Signature Page section to submit your signature page. To submit your completed application, click on the Proposal Overview button to return to the main proposal landing page. If a proposal section is completed, a green check mark will appear, and a Submit Proposal button will be visible. Click on this button to submit your application. If there is no Submit Proposal button present, one of two situations is occurring. Required information is missing somewhere in your application, or the deadline to submit your proposal has passed. Once the application deadline has passed, you can access your proposal to make changes, but you cannot submit it. You may unsubmit and make edits to your application at any time prior to the deadline. However, remember to save all of your changes and click the Submit Proposal button or your application will not be submitted. You can visit projects.sara.org to manage your proposal application at any time prior to the deadline. If you are awarded a SARE grant, this system is where you will also manage your grant project. For questions regarding the graduate student grants, Contact the grant manager, Candace Pollock Moore, at cpollock at uga.edu or call 770-412-4786. You may also visit southern.sare.org for more information.